Yo, what is going on my fellow weebs? Chrono here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the new, uh, I call them freebie weapons that PSO handed out with the most recent update. But if you guys are new to the channel, as always, my name is Chrono, I promote every PSO2 content. Would much appreciate subscribers work our way towards that uh, 10k mark, hopefully soon, man, I don't know. You just said by the end of the year, but end of the year is super close. And unless we just kind of pop off crazily, I'm not so sure about it. But hey, look good. Subscribe. I want to hit 10k. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. This video is going to be pretty short. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, essentially, what PSO has done is um, they've essentially created a bit of a progression system for end game for new players when they're first jumping in. If you're someone who has gone through the story or anything along those lines, you would have probably come across weapons like... Uh, make sure actually i don't think i have them anymore i think i might have gotten rid of them but essentially at lower levels you would have come across the weapon i believe it was around uh i think it's leland's uh side quest leland's request 2 i want to say she gives you a set of weapons for your class you get a set of weapons you get armor and those are now augmented by the way which is super cool which is why when some people have asked you know i've gotten stuck at certain points of the story i've asked you know what have you done are you completing your side quest are you doing the quest i tell you to do because realistically you shouldn't be bp gated at all um, anyway, moving on from that, around the Redham region, you're going to get a uh, evil coat weapon, I believe, along with some armor there. And those are also going to be augmented now, so that's super cool. But what we're talking about is this new limited quest that has popped up for Endgame. Now, from what I can tell, this looks to be uh, permanent. But you can see here we've got get nine star weapon for each class. And the reason I said this looks to be permanent is because there is no date on any of these. Couple of things to uh, to note when you first look at these here, they are completely bound to character, not account, not ship character bound. Meaning every single one of your characters that hits level 65 that goes to the specific class should be able to get these weapons. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch classes really quick and show you guys in case let's say for example you're someone who um, was on the wrong class and you logged in. If you just go over here. Let's say we swap to, uh, I don't know, let's swap to fighter, right? Let's go main class, switch to fighter. You can see that I immediately completed the tasks. And we got a set of daggers, a double saber, and a set of knuckles. And these weapons are pretty good. Um, I say they're good with an asterisk. They're good if you aren't currently geared in endgame with anything, really. Um, let's say, for example, you're someone who just got to endgame. Let's say maybe you took advantage of the last event and using one of the event weapons like I recommended a long time ago. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to get the event weapon. You don't have to augment it properly. You don't even have to upgrade the weapon. They quite literally are giving you a nine star that is at plus 80. That is at full unlock. So it's got a full potential unlock. It's got its max level because level 80 is the max. So you don't have to worry about limit breaking. It is a full suite of LC Augs, including triple ulti, which is very nice of them, by the way. Um, that you can just jump right into when it comes to content. And equipping all of these weapons is going to have you at a pretty comfortable battle power. Let me swap back really quick and I can grab, let me hang on a second. Let's see, uh, so that's at one. Oh, we're back to bouncer. Let's go over and grab, it's like Argenti, yeah, Argenti blades. All right, so we'll grab the Argenti blades. We'll grab the armor because this is actually really, really comfortable. Now, don't get me wrong, these weapons kind of suck, but it depends on where you are in your progression path as far as how good these are for you. You can see they're actually a, a defense, defensive increase for me because of how powerful these are. And that's with me even being at uh, level 80 on my units, which is kind of crazy to think about. So let's go ahead and equip the Soaring Blades. You guys can get an idea. As you can see, you end up with a massive 129 potency right off the rip. You don't have to do anything for this. This is completely free. This is the weapon and just the armor. Super crazy to see that they've had this out completely for free. And it's all slotted. It's all slotted. Or all, all class, all potency, basically all slotted, all statted, whatever. Um, this it's all class. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if you do some weird off meta sort of setup or anything along those lines, you're pretty much covered across the board. Now, where do these rank in the uh, the actual use case scenario? Now, normally I would pull up, you know, uh, damage calculations and show you all the stuff, but really it's not necessary for these weapons. This is a weapon that realistically speaking, unless you have hit the bare minimum 
of a decently augmented Neos A as a Slayer or a Vershmelt as any other class, this weapon's going to be an upgrade for you. Most situations, this weapon's going to be an upgrade. Now, let's say, for example, you're rocking your Vershmelt, you have it decently augmented with the LC Augs, then I would highly recommend going ahead and sticking to that for now. Just plus 80 it and push it forward. But if you're not at that point, this is really good. This is a very, very good alternative. This is to get you to the floor, what you should be at. You can quite literally get into the current Lucille with this gear. That is why I'm not bothering with the all, all the different, uh, the stat stuff and all the spreadsheets, because how close is it? it it's not great. But let's say you're returning to the game. Let's say you're playing on an alt on a different ship. Let's say you're new to the game itself and you're thinking, man, how do I jump into this? When do I get started? Because realistically, outside of events, things are a little bit weird to get started. It's hard to recommend something off the get go. They give this to you. On top of that, you also get 2.5 mil, I believe, during the story. Not only do you get a good chunk of money to go ahead and get started, you get a full suit of weapons and a full set of armor to jump into any piece of content that's currently available. And in some cases, I would say even Solus if you're a good player. If you're playing if you're playing Slayer specifically and um, you're pretty confident in your skills, this is enough damage to actually push through Solus. It's 130% potency, roughly. I mean, rounding, of course. Um, you can get a little bit more if you make a couple adjustments, but realistically speaking, you're actually doing very, very well with what you have set up here. And the augments they have on here aren't bad. You've got Gladius Soul LC, which I definitely keep, Gigas Master LC, which I would definitely keep, and Halfinale LC, which I'd definitely keep. The ones that you could possibly change out would be High Elthamina, Mastery, and Triple. Triple 2, actually very good. I would keep that as well. These two are the point of contention because they're both under 3%. But they also give you potency floor. So if you need something with potency floor, these are not bad choices to go for. It's just, you know, you can get flat 3% pretty free and pretty easily with just stat four. And that's not very expensive. So if you're someone who's like, hey, man, I just came back. What should I do? Is this armor OK to use? Is this good? Is this bad? This is like your stopgap of getting started. This is absolutely great. Jump into content, get farming Lucille exploration, get farming for your Malik weapon or farming money to get your Tissa or hopefully get lucky and get a Flugel, whatever it happens to be. But this is the new floor. If you're not at least at this, then you're throwing. You should definitely equip these, this weapon. You definitely equip this armor. It is absolutely great. And if you're curious, like, oh, hey, this is a better armor than mine, you can literally look at this right here and see, okay, am I higher than this? No, this is going to be better. Potency floor, of course, is a different conversation to have. It depends on your weapon. If you're using burst melts, you don't need potency floor, so you want as much potency as possible. If you're using um, anything that's not burst melt, you do want a bit of potency floor realistically. Slayer wants more potency than potency floor. So Slayer, it's a situation of if you can get equal potency plus potency floor, it's good. But you don't want to miss out on any potency or potency floor, meaning you're not bringing your potency down. So it's like the difference of, let's say, if you were to equip a regular high old dominant 3%, that's good because it's 3% potency versus like something like stat and you're getting free potency floor. But let's say, for example, you were to equip a high old dominant LC, which is 2.75. Getting the three potency is actually stronger in that situation for something like Slayer specifically. Every other class, it's it's fine. You want you want to have potency floor if you're not using a uh, a verse melt. But Slayer is a bit different because it has more crit chance. Now it's a lot of information in a short period of time. I didn't want to make this too crazy long because it's not that complicated. If you're at least at here, good. If you're below here, equip this stuff. If you're above here, it's cool to have for your alts. And if you play on any other ship, it doesn't really matter. You're able to go to all those characters and redeem even the same gear. I redeemed this on my bouncer on ship three. And now my bouncer on ship three is at 129 across the board. And he's uh, he's crushing stuff way better than he used to beforehand. I got the freebie at 100%. All right, guys, hopefully that gives the answer you're looking for. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to toss in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to keep up with more. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, my friends. Peace out.